So I kind of decided to do a big favor for a lot of people today. I'm going to teach you guys how to clean up, set up, speed up, and uh, clean your viruses if you have any now, or clean your viruses if you get them in the future. Um, this method that I'm going to show you is my personal method. I've never really seen anyone use it, um, but uh, I'm going to show you guys it today. And this video is going to be uh, pretty long, so it's going to be broken up into parts. Um, so if you guys want to learn, instead of paying hundreds of dollars to a company or to other people to fix your computer for you, um, fix or clean I should say, uh, you could do it yourself. So uh, stay tuned and learn. You guys may have noticed I have these two, uh, this folder and this uh, text tab open. Uh, you can just ignore that for the videos and... Uh, uh, the very first thing I want you guys to do is uh, right click on the desktop, new, and then make a folder and name that folder maintenance. All the programs that we're going to be downloading are f completely free. You don't have to spend a penny on anything. And uh, we're going to put the programs into uh, the maintenance folder. Um, the ones we're going to be downloading are CCleaner. Uh, disk cleanup is already in the Microsoft uh, operating system. Um, but we're just going to make a shortcut to it in maintenance and uh, two two virus scanners. Um, well, actually, one's a virus scanner, the other's a malware scanner, as well as uh, uh, the Oslogix registry cleaner and the disk defrag. Um, but I'll get into that later. So the very first thing I want you guys to do is, uh, well, aside from that, is uh, go to your start option and uh, type in power if you have Windows 7 if you have Windows 8 you gotta go to the side go to your search go to settings and click power and you will see something that says power options um, click that and open it uh, for XP you're gonna have to go to computer and then you'll see something here that says control panel um, but make sure it is on high performance if, if you guys only have an option that says power saver and balanced click the arrow and it might say uh, high performance make sure you click high performance for everything we're going to be doing because it's just going to be a lot easier for you and speed things up and it speeds up things in general so uh, just put it on high performance uh, and I also forgot to mention that you can also uh, make a shortcut for it um, all you got to do is uh, go to the power options page um, go one back and um, one tab back and then you're going to see something that says power options here and you just drag it to the desktop and then uh, I already have a link here but I just named it power and uh, I'm going to delete that shortcut and uh, just do that for um, for if you're like playing video games or doing something that takes up a lot of energy you click high performance if, if uh, if you're not doing anything really on the computer and you just have it on, just leave it on power saver and balance is, you know, in between that. Um, okay, so now that we've done that, uh, we could pretty much get to uh, cleaning the computer. So now uh, what I want you guys to do is go to your control panel. Uh, you could go to the start button and click the control panel. Uh, you're going to go to programs and you're going to click uninstall a program. You're going to look through all your programs and see if you have any toolbars. Delete all the toolbars or uh, uninstall all the toolbars. Um, uninstall anything that you're not going to use. Uninstall um, programs that you think, um, well, you know what? I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say uninstall programs that you think may look bad because uh, sometimes people uninstall like Microsoft Visual C and if that is a program you do need. Um, you you got to research the program uh, if you don't know what it is and see exactly what it is. Um, so uh, be very careful what you uninstall. And uh, I would suggest making a restore point. You could go to Google and look up uh, how to make a restore point. And uh, in case you uninstall something you really need, you could always go back to that uh, to that point in time and uh, have all your programs back on your computer. Um, it's really easy to do. It takes no more than like three minutes, honestly. Um, and uh, I don't need this Google Auto Backup, so I'm just going to uninstall that, actually. Uh, 
sometimes it requires you to restart the computer when you uninstall a program but that's okay um, so if it asks you to do that go ahead and do that um, so look through here um, any programs that that's a toolbar uninstall that and uh, if you have Norton and you have the Norton toolbar um, you can you can leave that um, but uh, everything else all the other toolbars are pretty pretty much crap so uh, you definitely don't want to keep those on your computer um, because they mess with the settings on your uh, they mess with the settings on your browser and they can track where you what sites you go to um, so just delete all the toolbars and delete all the programs you don't need so after you've done that um, we're gonna move on to the next step so if you go to your start and then you go to your computer you go to your C drive go to program files and uh, if you uninstalled any of the programs that uh, the folders say there's a program for um, so say I ins uninstalled uh, Diablo 3 from my computer and I still have the Diablo 3 folder you can just go ahead and delete that folder because um, it's just uh, taking up space on your computer and it's just crap so uh, if you go back you're gonna see if you have a 64-bit computer you're gonna see uh, two options here and just check both of them for uh, any programs that you uh, don't have um, and just go ahead and delete the folder those are what we call leftover folders and uh, if for some reason you can't uninstall a program you go to Google and you type in uh, Microsoft uninstall utility and uh, you look for your operating system make sure it's from the Microsoft website and that uh, that cleanup utility will help you uninstall a program you're, that's corrupted or it's not letting you uninstall it and that happens I've, I've had it happen to iTunes on a uh, on a customer's computer uh, the, the iTunes was corrupted and it wouldn't uninstall so I had to download the uh, Microsoft utility tool and uh, uh, uninstall it from there um, but it definitely works so um, the next step we're gonna do is uh, the startup uh, startup options actually before I get to choosing the uh, startup options what I want you guys to do is uh, go to start and go to uh, go to your search and type in app percent app data percent and you're gonna see a folder that says roaming this is where viruses love to hide uh, malware also loves to hide here and uh, you just uh, want to delete any folders that you really don't need um, if you have programs that like rain meter uh, ignore that in the uh, app data folder but if you have programs that you don't have anymore or folders for the program you don't have anymore delete that and uh, um, don't, if you play minecraft don't don't delete the minecraft folder because that's where uh, actually minecraft actually runs from is from that temporary folder um, I don't know why they do that but uh, um, be very careful what you uh, delete here and uh, um, after that we're ready to move to the next step 